everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zachabro, and today we're going to be talking about a bit of a controversial topic, something that's been scratching my brain a little bit. We're talking about why local Aussie artists aren't making it big. And spoiler alert, it's not because of lack of talent or bad luck. It's because many of them aren't treating their music as a business, and it's killing their chances of success. First and foremost, the problem business versus the passion. Look, I get it. Music is an art form, it's passion, it's the soul. But at the end of the day, passion doesn't pay the bills. If you wanna make it in the industry, you have to treat your music like a business. That means understanding the market, building your brand and hustling like your life depends on it because it kind of does. I think a lot of people are stuck in this mindset and not exclusively my generation, but everyone within the Australian scene that if I make good music, people will find me. But the reality is that just doesn't cut it anymore. Not in 2024. You need strategy, you need marketing, you need to know your audience and you need to hustle. So if you're an artist that's serious about making the next big steps in your music career, then follow along with this video. If you're just doing it for the passion and the enjoyment of creating something, then this video doesn't really apply to you. So the missed opportunities, the DIY era. We're living in an age where you can record on a bedroom microphone, produce on software that's more readily available than ever, and release on Spotify getting the attention of millions of people without ever needing to sign a record deal. But how many local Aussie artists are taking advantage of that? Not enough. Where's the engagement with fans on social media, the live shows, the merch, building a brand? Where is the consistent content? The industry has moved online. And if you're not there, then you're nowhere. So what is the market reality? Because Australia has always had a very unique music scene, but it's been tough to crack. That's no surprise to anyone. We're a smaller country than most, so obviously that means less local exposure, fewer gigs, fewer opportunities, and smaller audiences. If you're not familiar with the ARIA charts, it's how Australia measures the popularity of music, what we're listening to. So between 2015 and 2023, on average, we only ever had 25% of local Australian artists taking up the top 100 albums and singles on the ARIA charts. And it makes you wonder, so what is the other 75% of music that we're listening to? Well, it's all imported music from places like North America and Europe. So how does Australia fare on Billboard's Hot 100, the North American way of measuring what's popular? Well, on average, in that same time frame, Australia only ever made up two to 3% of the top Hot 100, leaving the remaining 98% to homegrown, North American artists and European artists. As a huge supporter of our local music culture, we need to break out of this bubble. And I understand it's difficult because of facts like this. In 2023, the North American music industry boasted a $17 billion in generated revenue, whereas the Australian music industry made a measly $676 million. So we're talking about buying power for a second here. It's a ridiculous 28 to one ratio. So indulge me in this hypothetical for a second. Let's say you're an artist with a new single on the way and you wanna promote it. You wanna put some money behind it, which is a great idea. So what do you do? You have in this ratio, $1 to spend. So let's say you go to Instagram Reels and you pay for $1 worth of promotion. An American artist is gonna pay $28 and you are competing for the same spot. It's a no brainer that you're gonna lose. Let's say you wanna advertise on a billboard and you wanna put $1,000 into it. Well, an American artist is gonna put $28,000 into it. And if you're the owner of that billboard, which offer do you think they're gonna take? The $1,000 job or the $28,000 job? Let's say you're not promoting your single anymore, but you actually wanna reinvest and put it into creating an album. And hypothetically, you only have $1,000 to spend. What kind of quality of an album do you think you can get for $1,000? Well, that doesn't concern the American because in this hypothetical, again, they have $28,000 that they can spend on the album. And it's gonna be the best fucking album that you've ever heard. The buying power, the revenue discrepancy between North American and Australian artists is, we're not even in the same league. So going back to what I was saying before, the Australian music industry is notoriously hard to crack. It seems that radio stations are gatekeepers, it's notoriously hard to get airplay and all they seem to do as well is play imported music rather than local grown talent. But here's the twist. Radio isn't the only way to make it big anymore. Platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram exist and they're now your new best friends. If you're not using these platforms as part of your business strategy, then you're leaving money and exposure on the table. So what needs to change? Well, the average artist that is actually trying to make it needs to adopt a business mindset. There are five points in this subsection that I wanna talk about. 
Point number one, investing in yourself. Stop waiting for record labels to invest into you. You need to spend what you can on good production, professional marketing, great music videos, actually creating social media campaigns that people can get behind and building a brand that people can connect with. Point number two, content is king. Consistency is key. Release music regularly, stop hoarding it in the vault because if you're not currently releasing something, you're not at the forefront of most people's minds. You need to regularly engage with your audience, not just use these platforms to post about when your next gig is, but to create a community around your music. Point number three, something to keep in the forefront of your mind, think globally. Stop thinking about yourself as just a local artist. You need to push your music out to a global platform. Collaborate with interstate artists, collaborate with international artists. Use tools like Spotify for artists to understand where your listeners are and how to target them directly. Point four, which I think should go without saying because it's the thing of this video but learn the business educate yourself on the industry that you're actually in learn about royalties streaming revenue contracts how to negotiate a deal this knowledge will empower you to make smarter decisions and not get screwed over by the very industry you're trying to take over and point number five which i don't think a lot of people pay enough attention to but it's actually building a team you can't do this alone find people that believe in your music and are willing to help you grow whether it's a manager a social media expert a booking agent. Building a team is crucial to treating your music like a business. The thousand true fan theory. What is it and how does it apply to you? The concept was popularized by Kevin Kelly, the founding producer of Wired magazine, which goes over the idea of as an indie artist, rather than aiming for mass appeal or millions of fans, you can comfortably sustain yourself with a thousand core fans. By cultivating a smaller, dedicated fan base of a thousand true fans, you can afford to live off your art. So by definition, what is a true fan in this theory? Well, a true fan is someone that is willing to buy anything that you produce. These are fans that are willing to travel great distances to see you at shows. Fans that are dedicated enough to buy your merch. Fans that are so loyal that they're willing to support you even through platforms like Patreon or crowdfunding. Essentially in a nutshell, they're super loyal and invested in your work. Okay, so why a thousand people? You know, as an artist, you might be somewhat successful enough that you're getting a thousand streams on a song or 10,000 streams on a song. So why specifically do I need a thousand core fans? Well, think about it this way. Let's get some math involved here. If you have a thousand core fans that are willing to spend annually at least a hundred dollars, that's a hundred grand right there in your pocket. That's a solid income for many independent creators and much more useful than the 0.002 cents you might earn on a thousand streams of a, of a single. With a direct connection to your audience, the importance of building a relationship with your fans often bypasses the traditional industry gatekeepers. Creators can connect to their audience on a personal level and monetize their work efficiently. So what other potential solutions are there? How do we fix this? Well, it starts with education. Young artists need to understand that from day one, if they wanna make a living off of their music, they need to treat it like a business. We also need more support from the industry itself. Record labels, promoters, even local government should be offering more resources, more opportunities for artists to understand the business side of things. For Aussie artists to succeed globally, we need to equip them with the tools to do so. Finally, artists need to understand and wake up to reality that talent isn't going to cut it anymore. Good music is the bare minimum. It's no longer the 80s. You need to take control of your career. You need to learn the business and hustle like you mean it. Because the truth is, if you're not treating your music like a business, someone else will. And they'll be making it big instead of you. So that's my rant for the day. If you're an artist or know someone who is, share this video to them. Don't forget to drop a comment and let's start a conversation because I want to see some other methods, some other ideas of how we can get our very talented culture up and into the public space, becoming more household names. Because it's time for a change in the Australian music scene and all starts with treating your music as a serious business that it is. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more artist supportive content coming from me and hit that little notification bell so you know when I'm releasing something new. That'll be all for today. I'll catch you on the next one.